Hey guys, and welcome back to Daily Duel. So today is Wednesday, and that means we're using, yes, Mermels. Mermels, 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 Mermels. I am sick of Mermels. I am mm, Mermels, I swear. Mermels are starting to be like the bane of my existence. I don't not want to play this deck anymore. So, yes, Mermels, once again. And don't worry, I actually got some good news for you guys. Uh, Mermels will be taken off of Daily Duels. I actually made a deck that will be replacing it. So, yeah. And it will be next Wednesday. Next Wednesday will be the day that Mermels will be replacing. Will, will be getting replaced next Wednesday. So, look forward to it. Oh, he didn't want a solemn warning, my Tias? Hello? What's wrong with you? I would solemn warning the shit out of my Tias. Hello? Kamikaze. Yes. <laughs> so good. Anyway, yes, so. I'm not gonna spoil the deck, I'm not gonna tell you what it is, but I made it. Uh, fairly f confident it'll do fine, so. Yeah, we're gonna go with it. I'm gonna go ahead and make our Abyss Gaios because we have fucking Royal Decree, so. Just goddamn awesome. Just goddamn awesome. TS plus Royal Decree, that's the struggle. You got that Lightning Vortex? Bet you do. Bet you do. You better, because if you don't, you're gonna be in an ass load of trouble. Yeah, I'll negate you. <laughs> He's just like, no, no, I can't, I can't, tell I can't, effect, I can't, can't, can't eat him, can't eat him. Like, alright, alright, we'll get another duel, bear back. Alright, let's try this again. Uh, I really don't care. I'll go first. Setup is important, I might get the Royal Decree again. I don't, but uh, at least get, I at least get the win, so. I'll go ahead and just have the win. Yes, so, finally, after 400 something episodes Mermels will finally be because they're getting stale the deck that I was debating on what deck will be you know will be replaced by this new deck it's new and shiny it's all shiny and glistening all dipped in. oh wow nice mill of the spore be using that later yep tuning and rota oh all of it because <laughs> because you got triple you got triple of each of your searchers foolish too oh god then the level eater right you got that first turn quasar I'm gonna get it first turn Quasar, level eater, right? Glow Ball. Upstart. It's interesting. I'll watch you play. Oh, the level leader was in your hand. Okay. That's why you didn't send it. Mm hmm. I'll watch you play. Well, I'll talk. So, uh, I was like. I was like, Mermels, you know, they've been on here for a long while. They're getting kind of stale. I mean, they're still a good deck, but it's just kind of stale. They've been here since episode one. I think it's time to take them off, and I was considering, like, yeah, uh, Pendulum Cast Dragons, they're fine. Uh, uh, Heroes, they're just, they just got on here, so they're fine. Um, Heroics, I like them, so they're fine. Quirkamir is fine. Mojitis are getting a little bit stale as well, but I can replace them later. Later. Yeah, I, I'm not really in a hurry to uh, get rid of... Uh, Madoche's plus this deck isn't really a tag deck. No, definitely not a tag deck. So, yeah, I, I decided, yeah, Mermels. So, Mermels will be getting replaced, which is fine by me. I think he's got the first turn Quasar. Yeah. Yeah, he does. He does. He does. You messed up. You did? One, two, th oh, because it's a tuner. Ah, because it's a tuner. Yeah, you did mess up. If this wasn't a tuner, you could have just went for your uh, Road Warrior. Road Warrior summoned that back. Level E to le uh, level off. And, uh, you know, got your formula. Eat another level off. And uh, then you would have had first time Quasar. So, mm. oh well. Let's get another duel Bear back. Okay. Like I said, I want to get a duel in because I'm trying to talk. So, yeah, Mermels. I'd say Mermels are, shall be the one to get replaced. I have nothing against Mermels. I actually like the deck, but it's just, just their time. D5 card deck, okay. Ah, 
controller ain't gonna do shit right now, but I guess I'll hold on to it. This is not a good opening hand. Definitely not. Lots of senders, but not a lot of sendees, so. No, a lot of sendees, but not a lot of senders. I said that backwards, so. Uh, you didn't want to poke me in the face for a thousand? Oh, Shadal's. A 55 card Shadal deck, because it can be done. Alright. Looking forward to facing off against Shadal's all the fucking time. Phoenix Woman Blast, you didn't want to get the vanities? Hello? I guess. Shadal Burning Abyss. Shadal Burning Abyss. Okay. Just take both the decks in together. Alright. I I guess. I guess. Might as well get some damage in. Might as well get some damage in. Yep. Summon dragons. Probably not gonna get him, so I'll go ahead and summon him to poke you with it. Anyway, uh, no good old fashioned talk time. I'm gonna go ahead and I'll uh, talk about my, uh, so much cards. How do you. Oh, because the Curry Bandit zeroed him out, so. Uh, sorry, I have seven cards in my mouth. So, wait, didn't he? Yeah, but zero them out, because, yeah. Uh, so, let me go ahead and talk about my Tuesday, because they had. So, Tuesdays, I have Women's Studies and Calculus 2. So, Women's Studies, uh, it's actually the first day going back to Women's Studies, where I have the actual game of Smash, so, uh, I got to class a little, oh, before that, before that, let me start, let me start at the beginning, the beginning, the beginning, the beginning, the beginning, the beginning, because I need to start at the beginning. Uh... Toss the MST at you. That one. Yep. Alright. I wanted to get rid of the Phoenix. Alright. Well. I could target one set card. I can make a Leo. I don't want to though. Mmm. I could. Because I really, 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 really want to get that monster. Because Burning Abyss. Their flipping effects are much scarier than their sending effects. Much scarier. So. I'll go ahead and just pop it while it's face down. I'll keep the diva. Alright, Shadows. Did I say burning abyss or flip for that? I meant Shadows. I wish I would have missed the other card, but I guess that's fine. Sinister Shadow Games needs to be hit. Sinister Shadow Games is. Like, literally the most powerful card in Shadows. Like, literally, I shit you not. Like, literally the most powerful card. Yep, so I miss with my, uh... My marksman. That sucks. That sucks. Oh, well, I could probably still end this duel. Let me try to think. I go Diva, Diva summon, yeah, but... You know, I need my calculator. My calculator. No, I don't. I need to dish out 3,000 at least. Can I dish out 3,000? No, I cannot. I can go Diva, Diva summon Marksman? Marksman attack over. Okay, hold on. If I summon Diva, Diva has 200, so weak as fuck. Uh, then I summon a Marksman. The mar one marksman will attack over, then I'll get him with 1400 plus the 1800 plus the 200 for D.Va. No, that's not game. Ah, uh, the snuggles are real. The snuggles are real. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I can go for a Leo at least. But why would I want to go for a Leo now since I know I'm going to get Shadal's? Why? So he can Shadal fusion on me? And the course construct does not target, so Nah, I just take dual slow. Attacked with the wrong Oh no I didn't. I attacked the right thing, because I wanna get your effect. Now I just take the dual slow. And if you survive I can go for an Amighty's next turn, so I'll take the dual slow. Anyway, I as you guys know, uh, Calculus Girl is 
the calculus class, obviously. No, like, no. If you want to do Shadal, if you want Shadal Fusion, do it yourself with your own cards. Just don't, I'm not going to allow you to just go, like, oh, you summon that? No, Shadal Fusion for my deck. Like, no, 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 no. You're going to use your resources from your hand. I'll take the duel slow. I'm okay. I'm at 8,000. I'm fine. I don't know. This could be a little bit better, and I wish that wasn't Sinister Shadow Games. I wish it would have MST'd the Sinister Shadow Games instead of MST'ing the Phoenix Woman Blast. Definitely. Phoenix, Phoenix Woman Blast? Nah. It's annoying, but I don't care. That Sinister Shadow Games fucked up my entire plan. Just shut it all down. Uh, so. Yeah. Anyway. With Calculus Girl, she doesn't have a class before Calculus. It's literally just Calculus. And then she goes to work. So. Soul Charge. Alright. All right, time for me to get my ass beat already? No, that's fine. Is a number generated already? Oh, I didn't even put Soul Charge in this deck. I didn't. I literally just hopped on here and started playing, so. Yep, probably should have thought that one out. Oh well. Didn't even think. Leo? I don't even target. Huh. I could probably end this duel, depending on what you do. Wow, you're just going to end. Just end. Really anticlimactic. Really, extremely anticlimactic. Yeah, I got this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'll go for my Leo. Crash with your Leo. Activate Abyss Fear and then hit you directly. So, yeah, I got this. I got this. I know it's really anticlimactic. Using a person using Shadow Burning Abyss, I really thought that your duels were gonna be more climactic for using one of the top decks of the format. I'll crash my Leo with your Leo. I'm totally fine with that. Then I'm just gonna activate Abyss here. Ah, uh, Lin should be enough. So if he drew the time to drop the gores or something. Really, really, this really anticlimactic place. Guess we're gonna have to get another duel in, damn it. Go back. Alright, another duel. I don't care if you go first or second. You want me to go first? Well, I didn't get really going first hand, to tell you the truth. Yeah, actually. I could play with it. Yeah, I'll play. I'll play. I was thinking about being passive, but I opened up with the Genix controller, which allowed me to be a little bit more aggressive than I would usually be going first, so I'm just going to go for a first turn Leo. There's no shame in the game and then leave first turn Leo, especially since he can't be targeted. No shame in the game. So, I don't mind that. Anyway, um, Calculus Girl, she doesn't have a class before Calculus, so uh, usually she shows up later and the parking spaces are full. So she usually parks way in the back. You guys know this, and I walk her to her car at the class, and then I walk all the way back. And it's just a pain in the butt because, uh, because it's a lot of walking. So I thought today I was going to be smart. Today being yesterday, I was going to be smart and, you know, park closer to the area that... Oh, okay, another Junk Synchron. Is this the same guy or just another Junk Synchron deck who will probably go first turn Quasar, which will easily run over my Leo? with ease. Another Rota. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's at three. Rota at three, Tuna at three, all the three. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The reason why I don't like Synchro decks is because I don't like sitting here watching someone play with themselves. They're like, hey, look what I can do. Look what I can do. Like, can you speed it up? Yeah, he's got the first turn Quasar. Yep. Bump up, 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 up. Jump in the road. Yep, yep, yep. He's got it. He should have it anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Road Warrior right there. Don't junk Berserker. Really thought you were going to go for Road Warrior. Okay, I guess you're just going to target my macro. I don't see what you're doing. That, that was... That was really anticlimactic, I must say. Really, extremely anticlimactic. I, I thought you were going to go for World Warrior, Road Warrior, uh, summon your 
your unknown synchron, then have the unknown synchron and this. Oh, but you, you don't have the level leader. You need the level leader, so. Yeah, and of course you're like, oh, Junk Destroyer is gonna get the Beals. Oh, can't be targeted. Ah, uh, so what do I wanna do? I don't give a shit. Do I give a shit about the tokens? What's the question? Do I give a shit about the tokens? I can take the Lin, Lin ram it into like the this, and then summon Megalo. Nah. 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 Yeah, I gotta. I'm gonna kill the librarian. That's that's a given. I'm gonna kill the librarian. But kill that librarian. Kill that bitch. That's the broken one. I don't care if Formula Synchron's at fucking three. As long as Librarian doesn't move, because Librarian is the stupid one. The librarian's the one that like, you just know. And every time you single summon draw a card, like, no, 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 no. You want to turn your tokens to defense mode? I don't care about that either. The Breeze Dragon. Okay. Were well, you going to make a Black Rose? You're going to Black Rose me? Go ahead. No, six. Okay, banish your card. Oh, opponent controls. Okay, then nothing. I can't be targeted. What part of that don't you understand? I thought it was just, I thought it was when this card synchro summoned target a synchro on, on the field and Vanek, I would say Vanek and Junk Destroyer, but no. Um, anyway, so I decided to be smart, smart, well, me thinking I'm smart, and uh, Park, wow, he doesn't want to attack or anything. Oh, I got another freaking Tius, okay. Uh, I could take, I can summon, I can flip summon the Lin, Lin crash into the Orion Dragon, Orion Dragon, go ahead and summon Megalo. Uh, TS pitch summon search me for whatever and then with the megalo summon I can make a big eye and take the destructive strike. That sounds like a fine plan to me. So I'm actually going to kill the Orient Dragon with you, ram you, take you, so yeah, that sounds like a fine plan. Good job, Daniel. Good job. Break football. Summon you in attack mode. Usually you don't do it, but I need you to kill that token for me, because I want you to kill that token for me. Uh blah, blah, blah. I'll get another one. This is the last duel. This is the last duel. I'm not gonna make this video any longer. All right, so you will ram into you. I'll take it. Yes. Megalo. Summon. Uh, actually, you know what? I can actually not do that play. I can actually go for uh, what I want to do, which is killing everything that you have, everything that you love and hold dear, and then I can go into a Draco Sack? Draco Sack, he's a safer play, because if I get Dark Hold, I'm going to lose everything, so Draco Sack. Not that I don't have Soul Charge in my hand, but Draco Sack. Uh, usually I'll put you in Defense Mode Case 101, but... Nah. I got Castell now, so it doesn't even matter if you, you want to try to be safe and go in Defense Mode, really. No. Go ahead. So, I thought I'd be smart and park way where around the area that she parked so I don't have to go walk her all the way to her car and then walk all the way back. So I was like, okay, I'm smart. So I parked fairly far away. Oh, you got your soul charge too? Cool story, bro. I got two. Soul charge is broke, especially on these number generators where you get that one. You know, one. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Seeing the soul charge a lot lately. A lot, lot. Spell striker. Yep. I'm trying to figure out what you're doing. Going, I guess, for another destroyer? Or... Yeah, with you and you, going to another destroyer, I guess? Some of the dandelion, okay. Last ditch effort. Top deck that soul charge and last ditch effort. So let's see what he could pull off. He can't attack me. So. Anyway, I park. I, I park way farther than my both my women's stage has, and especially my cactus has way farther because, like I said, I want to walk her to her car after class, get to talk to her because yeah, I like her. Do I like her? Yeah, I'd say I like her. I'd say I like her. Now, so far, she's one of the few girls this semester who isn't a bitch, so, yeah. Anyway, I get to class. 
uh, walk to class, which is a far walk than I'm usually parking because I parked farther away. Wow, you're just gonna quit. Okay, because you're like, oh, I can't do anything, I don't know what to do, so I'll just quit. Like, fine, okay. That's a second, sec second synchro guy who wants to come out with a synchro and then quit because he fucks up or something. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, I get to class, I get to class a little bit early, because I leave a little bit early. So, I bust out the, the, the 3DS and I start playing some Smash, and, uh, you know, of course, who comes over, you know, you, that's a given, uh, Kirby Girl, so, uh, I'm playing Smash, she literally just plops beside me, whips out her 3DS, and she's like, let's settle it in Smash, like, settle what? We didn't have anything to settle, so, so, um, we start playing. Um, and you know how you can choose the Omega stage so everything sucks like a final destination. I choose the Omega stage, but because I was hosting, she got to choose the stage. She didn't pick the Omega stage. So literally, she was literally picking stages that were fucking me up. So, uh, I picked Sheik and she picked... Who did she pick? Who was... Who did... I can't... I can't remember who she picked. Uh... Who... She... She picked random, and in random she got picked. And because of the stage, she literally fucked me up. Like, she beat me, beat you on that. And she all ripping her fist, like, man, if you were to pick the Omega stage, like, fuck those stages. Like, fucking the Omega stage. That's where, that's where, there's a reason why they did that. Anyway. So we do it again. We fight. I pick a ninja. She picks random again and gets Luigi. And once again, she doesn't pick Omega stage. So she, we go to, like, this weird stage where this monster comes. And literally, the monster killed her twice. Because we were playing two stock. And the monster killed her twice. So, yeah. I didn't even get to kill her, so. And then we had to start. Class had was starting, so we went inside. Women's studies were not talking about ethnicity, so yay, ethnicity. Like I said, that class is literally shouldn't be called women's studies. It literally should be just be called discrimination studies, because literally all we talk about is just the various categories that people are in and uh, are placed in and the discrimination of it. So it'd be class for, no category class. Yeah, yeah, that's a good name. Category class. Uh Anyway, class ends, I walk with uh, Kirby Girl, we talk about Smash and stuff, because, you know, that's what we talk about, like I said, she has a boyfriend, so, you know, I'm not even remotely interested, because I don't want to step on any toes, you know, I could probably be Mr. Steal Your Girl, but, nah, that's cool, I know, look at me sounding all cocky and conceited and shit, anyway, go to calculus class, uh, calculus, we're doing, uh, we're doing areas, on graphs, then integration, then, you know, graphs rotating around axes and 3D shapes and, uh, and, uh, what else? And cylinder method. We're doing cylinder method, so that's what we're doing. Uh, of course, Calculus Girl was there, looking all fine, because she's fine. Uh, she still has not started on the math homework, which is, she's gonna be struggling, struggling, that's a lot of math homework, it's pretty much like 25 math problems that pretty much all require graphs and a lot of work, a lot of work, so she's got a lot of work ahead of you, so she, ahead of her, so she's gonna be busy, uh, so, uh, pretty much, uh, this, the, we were doing like the dome method, so the teacher decided to bake dome cakes and, you know, get ready, and, uh, get everybody cake. And I shit you not, her most hilarious thing. She was like, yeah, at the, at the end of class, everybody's gonna get cake. And then literally in the middle of class, some guy started, he was like, free cake, free cake. I'm like, really? Oh my God, fucking regular show, this guy. <laughs> so uh, class ends, she gives everybody cake. I don't like cake, so I didn't get any, but uh, Calculus Girl did. She got herself a slice of chocolate cake. Yeah. And, uh, you know, not usual. Uh, talk to her and walk her to class. I mean, class. Walk her to her car. Oh, hello. So, um, walking her to her car, I'm talking to her, I'm just like, okay, well, you know, added you on Facebook, you know, so we can message each other, and, uh, she's like, oh, I'm sorry, I don't message, I don't, uh, you know, uh, contact, I don't, you know, I don't message a lot, and she's like, okay, that's fine. <laughs> I was the point of adding you on Facebook if you're not gonna message me. I guess. But if I didn't add you on Facebook, I wouldn't figure out you're single. So I guess there's a benefit to it. But overall, meh. No. So I guess she won't message me. So it's going to be kind of difficult for me to get to know her better because she's like, oh, well, we could talk. You know, she's like, oh, we could talk at, uh, before class. I have a class before class. So literally 10 minutes. You know, that's it. And, you know, you don't show up that early often anyway. And then we're in class. In class, we're doing calculus. Uh, and then after class, I literally walk you to your car, which takes like one to two minutes. And then you hop in your car and you go. And then I don't see you. 
So I literally see you two days early. So I don't want to, of course, make that same mistake that I did with Movie Girl and seem stuckerish because apparently if you see a person for one to two minutes, two days a week, you're a fucking stalker. So I don't want to do that. But you know, I'm trying to find a way to, of course, get an opportunity to spend time with her and get to know her better, of course. So, uh, uh, I swallowed my, uh, my little bit of nervousness and I decided to ask her on a date. And uh, she said, yeah, she'll go on a date with me. That's great. So I was like, well, you know, you like scary things. She's like, yeah, I like scary things. I was like, you want to go to the Fright Dome? And, you know, I've never been there before. And she's like, you know what? I hate the Fright Dome. And for those of you guys who don't live in Vegas, pretty much we have a theme park, indoor theme park called the Adventure Dome. And then during Halloween, they turn it and make it all spooky and scary. It's called the Fright Dome. I've never been there before. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. Never. I've been to the Adventure Dome. Never been to the Fright Dome. She was like... There, she's like, I go, and that place gets lamer and lamer every year, and it's super expensive, and I don't want you spending money on me like that. So, that's not a date. <laughs> so, I'm just like, oh, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I was like, you know what, let me think about it, and I'll get back to you. She's like, okay. She's like, well, I'm looking forward to it. So, I asked, I asked her on a date, and she accepts. I just got to figure out what. So, that's why this episode is called Planning. So, everybody, in the comment section below, tell me places where a good date, you know, we can go to the movies, but that's probably not a good first date. There's not a lot of things to do in Vegas. We're only both 20, and, you know, for being, you know, living in Vegas. And, oh, go to the strip. You know, go to the strip and party and gamble and shit. Duh. You live in Vegas. We're only 20. So, we can't. We're not 21. So, can't do that. I, I guess we can, I can take her out to eat, but where? You know? Uh, she's, if you're wondering, she's, she's Mexican, but whitewashed Mexican. Like, white wash like scrub her down clean of her like, i'm not even sure if she speaks spanish but whitewash so yeah yeah like like me yeah like if some of you guys before i even uploaded a video of myself you guys didn't even know i was black so yeah whitewashed you know so i guess i can i don't know i know uh, uh, I don't know. I could take her out to eat. We can go see a movie or something. I don't know. There's not a lot of things to do in Vegas, but I definitely want to just get to know her better. And like I said, she accepted a date, so that's awesome. So this might actually work. That's great. Um, so what I'm planning on doing, more planning, is since I don't get to see her, and that's not, I don't get to see her, and she doesn't get in contact, and you know, stuff like, stuff like that, she doesn't talk, and even on social networks, because you're constantly busy or you know just. You know, she doesn't, she's not good at it. Uh, I'm thinking of using that favor, that that big favor phone. And the, what I'm thinking about using it on is getting her to text me in class. Because, of course, you know, it's not, it may be a little bit distracting, but I can have a conversation with her. She's not distracted. She has her phone right there. You know, text her and get to know her better. Of course, we can't talk. We don't even sit next to each other. We sit, like, across from each other, but we can't sit next to each other. We can't talk. Of course, that would distract her from kind of class, but, you know, just putting our phones on silent and texting each other. That way I can get to know her better and actually talk to her and spend t extra time with her that I don't generally get, you know. Uh, you know. So, maybe that'll work. Maybe. i ask her if she, she's willing to do that. Uh, you know, because that way, I mean, you're not doing anything else better besides sitting here and taking math notes. So, you know, shoot me a couple of texts, right? Ah. Uh. So, yeah, that's what this episode is called, planning. So, planning on taking her on a date. Just don't know where. I can't believe she didn't reject me. That's awesome. <laughs> so, yeah, looking forward to doing that. So, if you guys have any suggestions on where to take a girl, uh, be sure to tell me. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and call up. So, like I said, next Wednesday, mermaids are getting replaced. Replaced. Taken off of Daily Duel. Finally. After 407 episodes. So, I'm going to... It's gonna be the deck profile, uh, what the deck is as of now, and then the, there will be another daily duels where you will get the first duel of the deck uh, that will be replacing um, Marmouse. So look forward to it. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duels. I keep on wanting to say Vitamin Y, but it's Daily Duels. So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys tomorrow tagging with Tiago using Pendulum Chaos Dragons. Thanks for watching.